Hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel. In the previous days I have done heaps of videos on stable diffusion and stable diffusion Excel model and we have looked at various models and how to use them. One of the most common questions which I received was what exactly is this diffusion and what is the difference between stable diffusion and stable diffusion Excel. So in this video I am going to explain to you all of these terms and especially the difference between these two models in very simple words plus I'm also going to show you how easily you can install and run these models locally and I, I will also give you a hands-on demo on it. Before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so let's try to first uh, see what is this Stable Diffusion and Stable Diffusion Excel. Both Stable Diffusion and Stable Diffusion Excel are model that are used for text to image generation. Both have been developed by the company Stability AI and Eleuther AI. The main difference lies in their architecture, training data and performance. Stable Diffusion was released in 2022, whereas Stable Diffusion Excel, which is an extension of Stable Diffusion, was released last year in 2023. There is also a difference between model sizes. Stable Diffusion is just 350 megabyte uh, million parameter whereas Stable Diffusion Excel is 1.4 billion parameter. Training data, well, there is also a difference between training data. Training data of Stable Diffusion was around 250,000 images whereas for Stable Diffusion Excel it was just 15 uh, million images. Image resolution is also better in Excel. So all in all, the quality and the performance in Excel model is quite high uh, if you compare it to the previous stable diffusion models. But still, if you ask me, even the performance of stable diffusion model is quite good. So what is diffusion? Diffusion in context of the stable diffusion and stable diffusion Excel refers to a process called as denoising diffusion. It's a type of algorithm that generates images through a series of refinement steps. So what happens is that the model starts with a random noise distribution when you give it a text prompt. The model then iteratively refines the noise, gradually removing randomness and adding structure to the image. Each step adds noise to the current image and then removes noise refining the image. And then after multiple iterations, the final refined image is generated. So this is what diffusion is. And then once it is generated into the latent space, then we use something called as variable or variational autoencoder VAE to convert that image from latent space or vague space to the pixelated uh, space where we can see it. So that is what uh, is the difference between stable diffusion, stable diffusion Excel, and this is what diffusion is. I hope that it made, uh, you know, it, it's clear enough now. If still not, please paste your question in the comments and happy to explain it further. Now, how do you install it? So you see on your screen, this is a stable diffusion Excel model, but this is a base model. And this is a thing with this stable diffusion Excel model. The previous stable diffusion models were all one inclusive but these stable diffusion excel models come with a refiner model and this is how it works we give it a text prompt and then first the base model this model kicks in generates the image and then it generates it in the latent space where it is still vague and denoising is done and then it is further refined and then image is produced now when we say refined, it doesn't mean that we are upscaling it. So STXL consists of an ensemble of experts you can see your pipeline for latent diffusion. In this first step, the base model is used to generate noisy latent, which are then further processed with the refinement model, which is specialized for final denoising step. And then this creates a uh, image in a higher quality. This is all it is doing here. Okay, 
so this is a so we need two models for it stable diffusion base model and stable diffusion refiner model now the tool which i use for in order to install these is normally comfy ui if you don't know what comfy ui is please go to my channel just search with comfy ui and watch this video from end to end and i am more than sure you'll be able to understand comfy ui in first go even if you don't know anything about it you will be able to install it and you will be able to understand what exactly is happening here so these are all the nodes which comfy ui work on the output of one node is the input of another and we join them together to create this image we start from the left you can see that we have provided it some positive negative prompt so if i just make it bigger by um, rolling my mouse so the positive prompt says that what we want in image so we say that we want an american bald eagle with other properties and negative prompt shows what we don't want and then if i you remember i told you we also use this vae or variation auto encoder to convert the generated image from latent space to the pixelated space so that we would be able to see it and then case sampler is someone which actually generates the image and then if i just show you sorry if i just scroll up you see first we select the base model just clicking here the base model is selected which is xtxl base safe tensor and if i go up this is where i have selected my refiner model so i'm just going to select the refiner here so this is my refiner model and this is my base model and it is optional but if you want you can even select an upscaler model to even further improve the image like i have done here this model and there are various models i just downloaded this model from uh, cvti or you can get it from hugging face now how do you download and install these models in comfy ui again this is the topic for that video but quickly show you let's say you want to download this base model click on files here scroll down you will see there is a safe tensor file uh, this one base one click on it click on download and then save it here in comfy ui models and checkpoints you see i have saved both base and refiner model here similarly go to that vai and this is a vai again this is the one which you need to download from this stability ai's repo in hugging face and then click on files go to this vae safe tensor from there click on download go to comfy ui go to comfy ui models in vae and save it here like i have done here similarly if i go back you just need to put your upscaler model here just like i have done here from cvti which i just showed you so this is how you save it once you have saved it go back to comfy ui and then you can just simply load this json file in order to load it click on load and then you can load this json file i already have it got from this uh, cvti's website but there are thousands of them available just go to hugging face or cvt uh, save it cvti and then just search for it or just google it or whatever browser you have search engine you have just search it and you should be able to find lot of workflows there so that is what i have done i have just selected it and then from there i have just given it a prompt and it has generated me this thing so for example you can just say something uh maybe i'll just say award winning photo of an fire breathing dragon and then let's keep everything as is click on q prompt let's go here and then you will shortly see this is a dragon and then then refiner is working and you will also see a refiner's output let's wait for it there you go so you see there is a market difference between the below image and the upper image upper images with the refiner even the bottom image is quite good but the refiner is image is more refined and more vibrant as you can see here and then we have also upscaled it in 20 megapixel and of course you can play around with the prompt to make sure that it's not bad and then better prompting is still very much valid i'm telling you so if you're not getting the desired result you have to play around with your prompts not only the positive prompts but the 
negative prompt so you see it has again created this a different one and again it's a different one so you can play around with it and then uh, there are a lot of techniques there from prompt engineering but that is not the topic of this video so hopefully this was helpful and you now understand the difference between stable diffusion and stable diffusion excel what diffusion is how exactly you can run it in comfy ui and then upscale it refine it and generate your desired image so that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and before you go let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video which are um agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will also drop the link to their website in video description thanks for watching and stay safe